Hi there, my name is uh, Shirley Simpson. I am a lecturer in hospitality and professional cookery um, at Perth College and we have a, a fantastic range of courses um, that we offer that would suit anyone from sort of school leaving age right through until um, degree level of study. So um, the hospitality industry is experiencing a massive boom at the moment. There's lots of employment opportunities out there. So I think it's a perfect time to um, come and link in a, a qualification along with those um, practical skills that you're getting within the, the workplace. So we have courses such as the Professional Development Award, which that course has a real focus on practical skills and would sit nicely with someone who is working in, in industry. Um, so it would, uh, you know, it's, it's really good as well as having that industry experience to gain the underpinning, underpinning knowledge um, to, to accompany these skills. And that's a part-time course. We also have HN courses, so HNC, HND, uh, which offer a nice mix of practical and theory, theory classes. And that, um, those courses are usually timetabled, sort of condensed within three days. We do try and do it um, over three days so that you can still work in industry as well at the same time. So we have part-time study, we have full-time study, and there are also some funding opportunities available for, for students as well. The, the hospitality department as a whole are really passionate about the industry. So there's always lots of good job opportunities there, which we do try and share with the students. There's lots of um, opportunities for you to gain um, industry experience. So I have Denny with me today, so I'd just like to introduce him to you. Um, so Denny is just finishing his HND in professional cookery and he is now moving on to continue his studies at degree level, so he's moving on to the event scene. Um, so hi Denny, thanks, uh, thanks for coming on. Hello. Um, hello. What, um, do you just want to tell us a little bit, uh, first of all, about the course that you've just finished? Yep, absolutely. So I work in the front of house in hospitality for several years now, and I decided to go and do my formal qualification and Beth College has been recommended to do it to its reputation. So I've done like I've finished now the second year of the HND professional cookery and my plan was to progress within my third and fourth year, which I'll be doing my first two years I did full time and my third year I will also be doing full time. But then I've already spoken to the college and to adapt to the working circumstances and opportunities, I'll be doing my uh, fourth year potentially part time. Great, super. And how have you found your student experience on the whole? Fantastic, amazing. Like in terms of, I could not have made a better choice in uh, terms of stepping back from my full-time job to go and do a full-time education while doing a part-time job. And the support that the college has provided from the moment that I applied to the interview process, because I had questions about, can I do this course? Can I work 30 hours a week and still do the course? And they've been quite upfront about it. And throughout the whole uh, two years that I've been there, uh, every single lecturer or a member of staff have been there for me and for every single one of my peers as well. Uh, so I cannot recommend and uh, praise the whole college high enough. Okay, oh, that's great. Good to hear. Um, so, and also you've benefited from sc some scholarships opportunities, haven't you, Denny? Do you want to tell us a bit about that? Yeah, like the college offer like the a lot, a range, a diverse range of scholarships, and then there's some that you can apply, some that are uh, targeted to certain courses and certain uh, financial conditions as well. Uh, I've been lucky enough to get a scholarship from Fonab Castle in the first year, which gave me, apart from the working experience, it also gave me a thousand pounds. Uh, on for that to support uh, my course, uh, the cost of the course. I've got a, a scholarship with HIT again, which was worth another thousand pounds in expenses. So I could expand, uh, expand my knowledge and use that money for training and for developing in areas that I wanted, you know. And there are also a few other applications that I still got here, have to hear, hear back like this, you open, but it's just a, uh, mainly COVID related to support extra expenses like helping buy a new computer, a new laptop or 
other uh, studies related expenses. So they, there are a lot, a vast numbers of scholarships that people sometimes from the outside, they do not know the existence of those. And I find out about them while I was in college and, and they helped me a lot. Like a lot of my uh, catering equipment I bought with, with that, those funds, basically. Okay, well, that's great. And actually, it's good for people to know, isn't it, that actually, you know, the scholarship opportunity is there for, you know, to build in skills, build in experience, but also there's a, there's a financial incentive there as well. Yeah, no, I've got like in my kitchen over here, I've got sous vide, I've got this, I've got vacuum pack, <laughs> everything is like, <laughs> if it was not a scholarship, I would not have had that those, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, great. That's brilliant. So you've touched on this um, earlier, Denny, but just, you know, you work in industry as well. And yeah. how have you found that, like, uh, you know, achieving this sort of work, study uh, and home life balance? It is like it's what you have to have in mind is shouldn't have to have in mind is a full time commitment it is a full time commitment. So there are uh, I had to be quite to, to be able to manage my time quite well, but it was perfectly uh, perfectly doable and actually uh, most of the time I submitted my exams prior to the date the, my submission date because I was there like knew, knowing that I had the financial support uh, like uh, the work hours there and the college that I, my commitments with the college uh, I made them work quite well and I like the idea of developing the knowledge the intellectual the brain and also being in touch with the industry. And I think that's the way the hospitality, that blended life, I would say, study and working, I think that's the way forward because then you're always getting the most updated versions on the intellectual side and also on the practical side. So I think it's a match made in heaven because you have the structure of industry and lecture. So you have a lot of people to ask for knowledge, for help, for support, for mentoring, you know, and yeah, it's, I really, really like the, both of them and, and I would recommend anybody, like if somebody is thinking about, oh, I cannot do, you can, you know, and it's quite enjoyable because you can practice everything that you're learning. That you're learning, yeah, which is a really important point, and that's very much what we're about is, you know, encouraging people who, even if they are working in industry, to come and get their qualification with us um, as well. So and that's great. Is, like, like you can bring things from the college to the industry, and as well from the industry to the college. You know, so I think it makes the whole uh, learning experience and HN or degree uh, much more. You you pack with experience, with practical, or you know, it's. Uh, I, I don't think if someone just does these studies, it's not the same. If you have both sides, as a better complement to each other. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, that's great. Um, brilliant. Well, Denny, thank you very much. That's been great to talk to you today. And um, yeah, if anyone has any further questions, then just drop um, college an email or you can make a comment on the, the post below and somebody will get back to you. And we hope to see you um, studying one of our fantastic hospitality courses um, sometime soon. OK, thank you. Thank you.